Now, when we're comparing two distributions, uh, there's a few different ways we can do it graphically. So when we're comparing distributions, we can do it with a back-to-back -back stem plot. And when we do this, keep in mind this would mean 100 still, but this would be 99 or 82. It doesn't mean 28. It, this is still the stem, and these are leaves. And so that would be 60 and 46 and so on. Um, so that's a back-to-back -back stem plot. Over here is uh, uh, dot plots on top of each other. So you would graph them on the same axis so you can compare the distributions. And this is the same data, just with histograms. So it's nice to be able to compare them on the same axis, whether it's the stem or the x-axis, so you can see how the distributions relate. Now, when we're comparing two distributions, remember to use socks, but uh, for both distributions, and you have to use comparative words, like the mean of neck girth is higher than the mean of length. So uh, here, the age of the youngest male, I just wanted to make it certain that people knew that this was 29 in the back-to-back -back stem plot. And then you would make a key that looks like this, where you have three uh, numbers and saying that 60 is for female literacy and uh, 68 is for male literacy. I just noticed that this, I got it wrong, the youngest male is actually 50. That's not the key point here, but. Uh, now, if I compare these distributions, now, uh, first, uh, females, since this gets higher, this is actually skewed right, because the number trails off to the right here. So, and the males, it doesn't look like there's much of a skew, but maybe a little bit to the right. And same with this one, it's kind of hard to tell the skew. So both distributions, so we can say the distributions for males and females. Are just slightly skewed. To the right. Now we don't need a comparative word here because uh, there's not a lot of variation there. So we can just say they're both skewed to the right. Now the males have a higher, uh, higher center than the females. So I'd say that the males have a higher center. than the females. Uh, and uh, you could also fill in, you know, find the median, find the median, and then compare them. And then uh, the males look a lot more spread out than the females. So you could say the females have a smaller spread. So what we could use range, we could use standard deviation. Um, let's say smaller, since it's skewed, let's say a smaller range than the males. So we talked about shape, we talked about center, and we talked about spread, and we all did it in context of the problem. And uh, we're not going to go through and check for outliers that looks fairly good. This looks like it might be an outlier. Um, we'd have to go through and check it out. But I just want you to get the point of describing it and uh, comparing the two different values. All right, now try to compare the distributions between neck girth and length of this is bears again. Uh, good luck.